Hello everyone, it is Foofy, and we are back today with Wolf's Bane 3. So I've completed the first uh, two sections. I actually haven't uploaded the second section, but you guys actually don't need to know the admin behind everything. Uh, but as I'm talking, I've been sitting here setting up my recording with this creepy ass laughter going on in the background. Uh, as you can see in the upper left over there, Today we are not on Congregate because I think Congregate is taking down a lot of stuff, so Vasant J has been moving a lot of the stuff over to Newgrounds, um, which is where this game is uh, currently. Um, at the same time, Wolfsbane 3 has a disclaimer that this game will be a lot more... Uh, what, what was their way of... This game contains more bloodshed than its predecessors. Nice, 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 nice. The Wolf and the Shepherd. Little Ada finds herself in the middle of a death game, and the only way out is to win. So I don't know exactly what happens in between these games, but it does sound like there's some plot that we're missing. Because even between the first two games, I felt like I missed out on some story, right? Okay. <clears throat> Get into reading mode. If the Lord is our shepherd, are we the lambs that he fed and raised? But then, aren't the sheep raised as livestock, who, whose ultimate end is to be slaughtered by him? Is that Ada? Oh, we jump immediately into the control. So same control scheme as uh, Wolfsbane 2. Uh, yeah, sure, always on. Nothing to interact with yet, so I guess we should just move out of the way. Oh, Lord. Tattle Kid. Matron, the new girl's trying to sneak away. Quiet, children. We're here to meet the doctor for everyone's monthly checkup. Wait, where's Joshua? <sighs> Did he run off again because he's scared of needles? Oh, we have to look. We can't get past, so I guess we just talk to people? Or not. Do we... Oh, there's a door, okay. This is a little bit unnerving. This is reminds me of the Corpse Party games, where you're just kind of uh, running around. Ah, uh, hey creepy girl, over here. The rock I jumped on to get to this side was crushed. Can you find some way to get me to the other side? Is that a floaty? Update. A bunch of random clothes. No. A ladder? You found a short ladder. Could I not have used that ladder, maybe? You found a short ladder. Okay. So I got two ladders. Mm, I don't see the ladders up top. Maybe it's another cutscene? Oh, we gotta do something with the clothes, right? Maybe? Yeah. Which one of the clothes will you take? A shirt? A pant? Is that like one leg of a pants? Of a pair of pants? Why is it called a pair of pants? Is one pant just like one pant and leg? I guess that makes sense. Pant leg, right? Anyways, we want the bed sheet. <laughs> you took a bed sheet to tie the two ladders together. Okay, now we go. Good job, creepy. Yeah, good job, creepy girl. Oh, what a smart kid! That was very clever way. Uh, that was very clever of you to think to use the letters this way. Dot dot dot. What's your name, child? Where are your parents? I uh, matron. Ada. So it's Ada. Ada. I guess it would be. If I'm trying to say Adeline, then she would have pronounced it Ada, right? So Ada, that's a cute name. Uh, no, I. Grace Hart Orphanage. Oh? Orphanage? Eh? Adopter? I know this is sudden, but somehow little Ada. Uh, little Ada <laughs> feels like one of us. I hope it's okay. We're doctors too. We'll give her a good life. Of course! It brings me great joy to have one of our children adopted by people of your standing. You mean rich? Girl. No. Ada, come here. 
I'm not Ada, I was just telling them about you. That's okay. It's what your future parents know you by now, so keep the name. Am I getting adopted? Yes. They want to take they want to take you in as their child. Your life is about to change get uh, about to be changed, Ada. Goodbye. And I hope you make the most of it. Uh, that's kind of sad. I think she really likes the matron. The matron was one of the first people that was like actually nice to her and like accepted her. There's a jester. Boo hoo, boo hoo hoo. No one wants to play with me. Hello? Oh god. <laughs> Wowzers, hello there. What are you doing, Mr. Clown? Ah, I almost forgot. I'm being sad. Boo hoo, boo hoo hoo. What a weird place to cry. But who am I to judge? Goodbye. Wait, aren't you gonna ask me why I'm sad? Heard you the first time. It's because you have no one to play with, right? Yes, yeah, seeing as we're alone here, why don't we play together? I don't know. Your attire tells me you're up to something funny. Good joke, but please, let's play together. Do you know the way out of here? Of course. If you win the skin game against me, I'll show you the way out. <sighs> okay, what game are we playing? Oh, how silly of me not to tell you. The game we're playing is called... Hmm... Ominous. Last Man Standing. Is this a... Arena? What the... Welcome, everyone. To our weekly game of death. Aren't they... Oh, you recognize them, little Ada? They're your parents. Let us go. We did as you asked. We brought you a new contestant like we promised. Damn. They don't like me. Contestant? <sighs> oh, sorry, but the time limit was 24 hours. You took 25 hours to bring this girl here. Which means... One moment. dad for a second there <laughs> probably should have turned off my camera too but that's okay but now that my dad is not in the room I can start reading in creepy voices which means death by irony irony ding 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 correct no get away from me aren't you a surgeon doctor well I've dabbled in surgery as well but beware my hands are a little oh he dead Guarg? <laughs> Slippery. Please spare me, I promise. I'll return the money I borrowed, I swear. Now, now, you should have thought of it before borrowing it. Now stay still and let the audience enjoy what they paid for. Damn, he's gonna kill them both. Little snip here, little snip there, and one more in the heart. What is that scream noise? <laughs> Damn, he chopped him up so bad. I was gonna say, he looked like he dis disappeared. <clears throat> now you're a man without a heart. You didn't need it anyways. What did I do to my hair? Give me a moment, I'll be right with you. Ada. Damn you, do you think you, you rich aristocrats from of our Saiyan Empire can do whatever you want and get away with it? Lady Doctor, don't blame the rich. You are the one who borrowed the money. Since you couldn't pay them back, you should at least pay some other way, right? No, 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 no. Operation successful. Man, I really am killing it. Get it? Killing it. Sorry for taking so long, little girl. Taking care of people who lost the game is harder to do is a harder job than you think. Oh my, are you frozen in shock? We can't have that. The aristocrats paid good money for this show. 
Was it my imagination, or is this girl bored? Boo. Eh? That's... Oh, finally a reaction. I was starting to think you were some sort of weird girl. I don't understand. Oh, it's very simple, little Ada. Survive all the games we arrange for you, and you can leave this place, and... Why are you here? Eh? Wait, what? Leave me alone already. Who are you talking to? Her... her mom? Is that person one of our guests? Evelyn. Waves. Raise his thumb. Good luck. See, that's one of the things I'm not so sure about. Is there another series or something that ties in? Because I don't remember Evelyn at all. Uh, but I know from the last game that we established that that was her mother. But they kind of spoke about Evelyn like I should already know who that is. Careful, Shepard. A wolf has disguised itself as sheep. A wolf has disguised itself as sheep and entered your flock. If you're not careful, the wolf will eat everything in its path, even you. I know all the dark places where my mind goes. And now I know how you I suppose I could have saved the uh discussion about Evelyn for this scene. I don't know what's wrong with my camera today. Like you see my See my body like phasing in and out of the background. Sorry, hey, I'll, I'll stop showing you my armpits. Wolf and Shepherd. I don't know why I read it like that. Yo ho ho ho. Hey, Lorada. Don't forget about the audience and concentrate. Oh. And for concentrate on me. Are you ready for the first round? Go away already. Hey, are you listening to me? Yeah, yeah, something about you ignored your parents as a child, blah, blah, blah. I wish my mother ignored me too. Why, you little? Now, if you'll excuse me, I got bigger. And she's gone. For now. Why the hell are you so calm? Are you touched in the head or something? Says the guy dressed as a clown going around murdering people. You don't have the right to ask me that question. Why, you... Let's see if you can keep up that brave front after you lose the game, and I slice you into little pieces. Whatever. Don't forget what you promised to let. Uh, don't forget that you promised to let me out after I win. This clown does a lot of vile things, but breaking promises is not one of them. I have a reputation to protect. Bring in the other contestants. Youch. Oh, who do we have here? Mr. Thug, would you care to explain? Hey, isn't that the doctor from the last <laughs> episode? A gardener of the member of the audience. He stole from them, and as punishment, they sent him here. Seems that this game takes uh, in a variety of contestants. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please let me go. I'll never steal again, I swear. It's okay, Kit. Sure, you can die horribly in this game, but if you win, you'll be given a huge sum of money. Eh, yeah, really? Yes, not to mention, you actually have a good chance of winning, seeing as your competition is a little girl, and... Whoever comes out of that door is... Kia. And who is this, Mr. Thug? Bold of you to assume my gender. Bold of you assume to assume I give a damn. Whatever. This woman, Richel, came here of her own volition. Eh? She heard about the prize money and decided to enter this death game of her choice. Ah, and here I thought the clown was his deranged one. And here I thought the clown was the deranged one here. After she left, that is. Hi, 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 a wimpy gardener and a kid. Who would have thought it was this easy? Now that everyone's here, let's begin our first round. 20 questions. Oh, it's not like an all-out battle royal, like, stab each other neck. Okay. Alright. I'll admit that was pretty cool. I wonder if he keeps them in his butt. But how does he take them out and stick it up? The stage is set. Everyone, take your places. Alright. The rules are pretty simple. Each of you have a card with a word written on it. 
The other players will try to guess the word by asking 20 questions in total, and the person with the word must answer yes or no to them. Oh, and lying is not allowed either. Otherwise, you'll be eliminated immediately, and I don't have to tell you what that means, right? Since this little girl has annoyed me greatly, she will answer the question and you too can ask her questions. Then we'll move to the gardener, then the woman. The one who wins five times will be the winner and move to the next round. And the person who is last will be... Gulp. Come on, big money. Little Ada. Memorize the word given on the card and give it to me so no one else can cheat. Flip's card, the word is a paper kite. Paper kite, got it. You may begin questioning Ada now. Question one. Is it a living thing? Mm, no. Is a paper kite... There's a paper cut kite butterfly. So it could be a... Living thing. Can it be touched? Yeah. Question three. Can it fly? Yeah. Ah, is it a paper plane? No. It must be a kite. Ding, ding, ding. That is correct, Mr. Kit. You got the first point. Damn it. That was my second guess. I've never flown a kite before. I wonder if I can lift a human being. That's what you're thinking about? We can literally die here if we fail. Whatever. There's someone more terrifying out there who sees death on a daily basis. Now then. Our next answer is Mr. Kit. Check the card and memorize the word. Got it. All right, ladies, fire away. Is it a living thing? No. Can you hold it? Yes. Five minutes later. Hmm. It's not a living thing. You can hold it. It is used in some sporting events. It is spherical in shape. Has to be a ball. Ding ding ding, that is correct, little Ada. You got the first point too. Damn. No. Wasn't it a helmet? Those are round two. Is it weird that I'm kind of enjoying this game? Yes! Okay, just checking. Okay. How do you pronounce her name? Richil. Richil? Richile? <laughs> now, our next answer is Miss Richil. Check the card and memorize the word. Yes. This is a good one. You guys will never get it. All right, people, have at it. Is it a living thing? Hehe. <laughs> no. Is it a place? Yes. It's a place. But you cannot live there. It can be stood on, but it is not recommended. It isn't very big, but it is long. Heaven? Can you stand on heaven or hell? Not really. It sounds like a road, I guess. It's a place that you cannot live. Uh, it can be stood on, but you don't. But it's not recommended to stand on a road. It's not very big, but it's long. Ah, it's a river, right? Nope. It's a road. Gra! Ding, ding, ding. That's correct, little Ada. Get to your second point. Damn. No, no. I, I can't be last. This isn't happening. River? What were you thinking? Since when can you stand on a river? Hey, you dumbass. Shut up. Where did this creepy girl even come from? Ask my mother. Though you'll probably get more than you hope for when you meet her. So I'm assuming that Ada's mother has uh, very much the same effect on people that Ada has on, like, her, like the other cops and stuff they don't seem to like her very much or they're they're afraid of her so it wasn't my imagination this girl tr is truly weird all right Ada, it's your turn again right flips card the word is depression a hmm even though one can only answer with yes or no i think the way to say it can also affect its result let me try all right go is it a living thing? Hmm, interesting. Hmm, I feel like these are a little too vague. I'm just gonna say no. 
No, why would you... So you want me to use the false ones? Oh, I see. So you're doing those in addition to... Yeah? What does that mean? Is it related to a living thing? Wait, it could be a trap. Question two. Is it food? Yes. And then shake your head. Oh, I was thinking no and nod. Okay. That's my fault. Nope. Nods vigorously. Yeah. The hell does that mean? It is a food for some people? So is it something consumable? Question three. Does it affect your brain? Nod happily. Could it be a happy emotion? Ah. Is it happiness? No. Which is it? You're literally killing me here. Is it joy? Nope. Is it surprise? No. Five desperate minutes later. Ding dong. You have used up all Tony questions. This round goes to little Ada. Damn it. What was the answer anyways? Depression. Eh, but you? But I what? <laughs> Look at the clown just spinning in the background. I was tricked by this little girl's happily nodding away. Who would guess that's such a uh, who would have guessed that with such an energetic nod? Now then, our next answer is Mr. Kid again. Check the card and memorize the answer. Yes. Got it. Are they gonna start playing mind games too? Oops. Hmm. It's a title, but it is not earned. One is born with it. It is given to females. Uh, can be upgraded by marriage. Princess? Nope, so close. Eh? But, oh, he lied. And a imperial princess? Whoa, I don't get it. What What is an imperial princess? That is correct, little Ada. That's four points together now. This can't be happening. She's just one point away from winning. I'm glad I'm in second place. I wonder who the sponsor for this death game? The guillotine company? Who cares? Just curious. Now then, the next answer is Miss Rachel. Could this become your last round ever? I don't want to play anymore. Pick up the card, Miss Rachel. Rachel. I... Look at it this way. If you play, you may or may not die, but if you don't... Ow! You will definitely die. Now pick up the card. Okay. <laughs> no, this can't be. Alright, people. Let's go at it one more time. Stop! Don't! Is it? No. Oh. Dude, that's cold. Her card was a living thing. Death by 20 hits? Correct. Wait, I... Oh my god, he's gonna beat the shit out of her. 19 more to go. Gulp. No, stop. Little girl, help me. Why should I? Are you really that vicious? Let me ask you... Let me answer your question with another one. Do you think you would have pitied me if I was in your place? I... Didn't think so. Besides, unlike us, you came here of your own volition. You have no one to blame but yourself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... Save your begging. For when you're in hell. Checkpoint reach. Save the game. Yes, please. Uh, tell me a bedtime story. Are you talking to me? Who else is here? I can't sleep cooped up in here. Since you guys put me in last week. Do you realize that you're a child hostage being forced to participate in a death game, right? 
All the more reason to tell me a bedtime story so that the fear doesn't overwhelm me and I can fall asleep peacefully. Do you think your boss clan will be happy if I'm not in my best shape during the game? Ugh, that's a good point. Alright, I'll tell you a bedtime story. <clears throat> in a kingdom far, far away. How far are we talking here exactly? Who cares? Anyways, there was a very cute looking girl who was harassed by her stepmother. Oh my, what did she do then? What else? The girl had had enough one day and cut that bitch open like a pig. Then she showed it as an accident and got the insurance money uh, from the company. Then she lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> and, and she's asleep. She's not asleep. It's a good thing that situations like this that I can't sleep. We're gonna find a way out, aren't we? Not to mention that I managed to swipe the keys from his pocket this time when he was telling me the story. Hmm, it's been a while since Mother showed up. But I just know that she'll appear by the end of the day like always. Let's think of that later. I should leave now before they finish preparing another death game for me. Why is there a piano here? That's terrible decor as a hostage room. Kinda takes the fear out of the situation. Is this all one piano? Because that's a very long piano. That's a, that's three pianos in one. That's weird. The the music only hits uh when right before I inspect the piano. Is there really nothing to look at? Damn, the key's not for this door. Must the key must be for something else. How do I get out now? Oh. There's a note on the back of the door. Did the bad guy not see it? A weak mind. Hiding behind a facade of bravery is like a cracked wall. Hiding behind an inconspicuous closet. Cracked wall behind a closet. They're either writing, writing in code or they lost their mind. Note 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1. 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1. Let me double check that number again. One two three two one three two one. One. Did I mess that up? Is it not one two three two one two one? One two three two one three. Oh, I missed a three. Stupid. I mi Damn, I lost a half a life. This piano sounds like a guitar. Ah, it started playing on its own. And it shot out a key. Something just came out of the top of the piano. I should find out what it is. Bow, 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 bow. Why would you do that to me? Update, you found an axe. I don't understand why I lost a life for... for inspecting the bookcase. The closet has a cracked wall behind it. But how do I get past the closet? It's currently tightly locked. Axe. I guess I could use the axe to break it apart. I mean, I saw Mother carry it around once. I doubt she used it to hack wood only. Damn, you freaking obliterated that cabinet. Holy crap. Isn't this where we were earlier? So we're going to go through the doorway. Hopefully we get some light soon. It's kind of hard to see. Looks like there's something on the table. 
found a note. Don't let TH something know. Better not go in there. I'll be immediately found by those wolves, but then how do I get rid of them? There's a Snorlax. I can't really afford to get caught by that guy, so let's play with the switches over here. Okay, so this affects the top, the top five. This one is. Oops. This one is alternating those. I'm scared. Oh god. Um. Should I push or pull it? I think pull. But what is it? Found a piece of note. Don't let the devil know. What if I destroy it? Nope, doesn't do anything. So let us pull. Get on this side, push it. I don't know that that was the correct move. Okay, so now we have it in the open at least. Um... We could push him. Yeah, don't do that. Oh, I think we need to shove that into him. Is it lined up? Yeah, it's lined up. Oops. So, go over here, then over here, and push it. And let's get this out of the way again. I don't know what it is, actually. I don't know how we're supposed to get past this guy. How do I get rid of them indeed? Maybe I need to push this? Does it hit the switch? Wolf snarl. But I'm in trouble now, aren't I? Oh no, they just broke out, I guess. Oh, the note. You found a piece of note. Don't let them know that I am something. Oh, it's a rock. I don't know why I could not see that it was a rock earlier. Okay, that was not good. I'm losing all my health. Oh. Okay, so we need to get the rock over here. So then we can use it to target this guy. And he will pause when he gets to that. Why? Just have to time it correctly. 
Are we good? I lost so much health there. You found a piece of the note. Don't let the devil know that I am aware that he is hiding in plain sight. Um, what just happened? Can I get in there now? I cannot. So... Can I possibly... shove the rock into it? Way better than I thought it would. So we get the paper. In my body, okay. Not creepy at all. All angels should fall in hell. Well, what? The, where does that get us? All angels should fall in hell. So I think we need to. Get rid of the angel. Well, what's next? I did as the note guided me. Uh oh. Oh, damn it. I regret nothing. Checkpoint reached. Save the game? Yes, please. Uh, actually, I just realized my screen's a little bit offset. Let me correct that. That should be better. Wolfsbane, let's do his new save file there. Actually, I think I'm going to cut this episode here. Uh, I'll get right back into it. Just want to, you know, for my uploading purposes. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. And if not, as always, I will try to do better. Catch you guys in a bit. Bye-bye.